Hey friends, tonight I am checking into Disney's Boardwalk Resort. I'm gonna give you an update on the construction of the pool area, show you some of the Christmas decorations, and then hop on over to Epcot for a little bit of the festival of the holidays. So, let's go do this. It looks like they have tons of holiday decor all inside the lobby, but their Christmas tree is actually outside. So we're definitely gonna take a peek see at that. The Christmas decorations in here have such an elegant touch. I absolutely love it. And then the lobby itself is so beautifully decorated. I see they have like a very larger tree, but like I said, the big tree is outside. But I love all of this garland. It's a very classy look. I like the merry-go-round ornaments. They've got horses, tigers, and even giraffes. It looks like we have popcorn balls. This is so nice. Poinsettias all over the place. Very elegant. It's also very fun to just sit in here and actually listen to the Christmas music and stare at the fireplace because it's a beautiful fireplace. You can have a seat on one of the fancy chairs and just kind of sing your favorite carol. But now I want to head upstairs. No, no, no. And check out my room. Look at that. We're on the fourth floor and it's a standard view. So I'm kind of excited to see what view I actually get with a standard view. It'd be nice if I was out looking at the grounds. Oh, I'm actually right here. This might be a really nice view. Now that I'm in the room, I can give you guys a little tour. I like this layout, it's actually really nice. Uh, normally, uh, I like to see like a big entry point. I don't know why, I just feel like it makes the rooms bigger. And this one actually has a nice little like entry foyer. So I'll give you a little tour, uh, just real quick. Uh, I don't want to get too detailed, but yeah, let's get on with the tour. This is what I was talking about as like the huge foray when you walk in. And I also have to say, I think the boardwalk has one of the biggest like kitchenette areas. I mean, I love this. It's so open and it's just nice and clean looking. We've got a fridge, fully stocked, coffee maker, microwave, very fancy. And then on this side, we have the kitchen vanity area. The bathroom still has just a traditional like tubby tub in it. No stand up shower, but it's still a very nice looking bathroom. And I like how they have this mirror here. I like all this, it's very nice. It's just a very nice little kitchen vanity area. Kitchen, vanity, bathroom, nah. One thing I noticed immediately is this uh, closet is a little bit off track. Like I can see where it's supposed to be, Got a little gap, but it's okay. I'm gonna fix that in no time. Once we get done with the tour here, or maybe it just might bother me enough I need to fix it like immediately. Take a look. Ooh, that's a pretty deep closet. They got a little mop back there. What are they doing there with a mop? I see what happened here. This little part actually comes off. So we're gonna take that off. There we go. And then I'm gonna slide this underneath like so. Come on, get there. There you go. And I'm gonna put this back in its little hole. Lift up, bada bing. Oh, bada bing. Oh, oh, bada boom. Beautiful. Thank you. Much, much better. Now we're gonna come into the main sleeping area. You can see we have a nice little bed here. Very fancy. I also like the artwork that they put in the boardwalk rooms. Like I think it's really very classy. Little Ferris wheel. Even this lamp in the corner. That's very nice too. I believe the last time I stayed here I said I really enjoy how comfy these couches are because they're very comfy. You know? You need a nice comfy couch. And I need to point out, I've been having a hard time finding Must Do Disney with Stacy. I don't know if she's gone or what's happening. Maybe she's just taking a break. I hope she's just taking a break. I need my Must Do Disney. I also can't seem to remember what the mural is that's behind this bed. So we're gonna have to pull this out. Now oh, this can get a little difficult, but that one, I don't know if I did them both. No. Oh no! Oh boy! Okay, now we got this. Oh, that's right! It's the sleeping Dumbo! 
Aww. It's so pretty and precious. For some reason, I always love the little artwork of Disney inside the rooms. I really think that's what makes one of the things that make Disney's resorts like stand out. But also, why is the Polynesian giving out six pillows and all the other resorts only giving out four? What's going on here? Why is Polynesian the king of the pillows? We also got some extra storage space right here. Very fancy. Oh yes. Bet you they slide in and out. Oh, that one's a little sticky. Oh, here we go. Nice and smooth. I think I told you guys already I didn't get a garden view or a pool view uh, or a boardwalk view. I just got a standard view. And uh, let's see. I think it's a very good view. Let me know what you think. But can anybody spot the hidden Mickeys? Huh? Huh? Yeah, they're there. I'm going to open this bad boy up a little bit. This one too. Look at this. We literally have a front of the building view. Like right here is the boardwalk porte crochet and then you can see the Skyliner. Ooh, that is really awesome. The skies are starting to look very nice. I actually like this view. It's really nice. Yeah, this isn't that bad for a standard view. I'd be happy with this if I got this as a preferred view. I mean, like, what do you guys think? I think I would rather have this view than I would like facing the parking lot. Another really cool thing about this view is you get to actually watch all the people arrive from the Magical Express and just being happy that they're here at Disney. You get to watch the flags actually wave. And, and like I said before, the Skyliner is right there. But now I want to head down to the pool bar because I hear they tore down the clown slide. I mean, I have to see it to believe it. Oh, wow. They really took down the clown. They took down the clown. I wonder what they plan on doing. Are they just going to fix the clown or are they going to get rid of the clown? But even the water slide's closed off. This pool is always such a nice pool, and I'm kind of shocked. I don't think they can take the clown away. I mean, it's an iconic clown slide, but I do think there's a lot of kids afraid of it, and adults. I mean, we're not afraid to say we're afraid of clowns. I'm not afraid of clowns, but if you're afraid of clowns, it's okay. Clowns can be scary sometimes. So I guess we're just gonna wait and see, but we got a nice little sunset happening over there. Very pretty. Now I'm going to head back out to the boardwalk area, see the Christmas tree, but I kind of want to wait until it lights up a little bit more or until it gets a little bit darker. Actually, it's pretty well lit. It's pretty bright, actually, even though it's still daylight out. You definitely can notice it's lit. Oh, Christmas tree. Oh, Christmas tree. It's very beautiful. I think I really need to look up the rest of those lyrics but what do you guys think? It's very pretty, right? I like it a lot. The whole entire boardwalk area is just really classy and pretty, so I wouldn't expect anything else from their Christmas tree. I wish they had a little bit louder Christmas music, though. I don't hear it too well. It is absolutely crazy to see how far these resorts have come since the last round when I stayed here. Like the last time I stayed at Boardwalk was near the opening of when the resorts opened back up after Walt Disney World closed down. And it's just getting so much better and better every day. And I'm so honored that I get to come here and check it out and show you guys the progress. Like I just, I, I love it. I absolutely love it. I really do just enjoy sitting in the lobby listening to music and seeing the day-to-day -day operations and staring at the christmas lights it's a really relaxing atmosphere now i think i'm gonna head on over to epcot for a little bit of the festival of the holidays but something that tells me it's a little bit cold out is when they actually have the outdoor patios actually heated and they have covers keeping the heat in that's in florida look at the abrick dab bar I can't believe how quiet it is here. It's such a beautiful night too. I believe it's actually only like 40, 50 degrees out, but I am loving it. This is perfect spirit weather, Jersey. Just take a look at that sky and the boardwalk. It's such a beautiful night. Honestly, it's only like a three minute walk. So like I said, it's such an added benefit if you're staying at the boardwalk or beach club or yacht club. Very, very nifty. 
and the holidays have begun and we are at Epcot. Very excited. You're excited. I'm excited. We're all excited. <laughs> the music is rocking in here though. Oh. Because I've already done an opening day video about Festival of the Holidays, I'm going to try to focus on things that I did not do that day. And one of the things I didn't do, and I regret that I didn't do that day, is the pumpkin margarita in Mexico because that is an actual item from the Festival of the Holidays. Pumpkin margarita. Right there it is, the pumpkin spice margarita. So we're going to go straight to Mexico. And we're actually following Mickey and Goofy, so we're going to try to cut them off. I wonder if we can beat them. We're going to try to beat them. We see you. <laughs> Look at that. Now we're back behind them. It was good to run ahead though. We're gonna let them go on. Go ahead, Mickey, go ahead, Minnie. Because we have officially arrived to get our pumpkin spice margarita. Look at that. They also have a horchata margarita. That doesn't sound too bad, but I think I gotta go all in. I gotta get the pumpkin spice margarita gets a little cinnamon sugar rim there and look at that oh wow this looks fancy here it is the pumpkin spice margarita and I'm a little shocked because it has tequila and mezcal in it a little bit smoky because if you guys ever had mezcal before that's what it is I'm excited to try it a little cinnamon mezcal so first sip Oh, that's good. Oh yeah, I can taste the pumpkin puree, the cinnamon, and then I can definitely taste a little smoky in there. Very good, very good. And I found a great place to actually sit and enjoy this pumpkin margarita right next to the Christmas tree. Beautiful. Oh, and I'm with Erica. Hey, cheers. All things parts. <laughs> cheers. Let the pumpkin season continue. Oh yes. As I was enjoying the pumpkin margarita, which is absolutely delicious, it really got dark out and the tree is so merry and bright. Look at that beautiful tree. I love it. We're gonna move along and head into the show place. I definitely wanna try a different beer from the pro stand. I did try two last time, but there was one other one that caught my eye. I feel like I'm sneaking around Epcot. You know, I actually didn't see this at nighttime last time I was here, but look how beautiful it is. I love it. Really gets you in the Christmas spirit. It is also way less crowded in here than the time that I spent in here on opening day, so I get to appreciate things a little more. Like, look at the back where they had the Olaf like photo opportunity. There's nobody there. Here is the Prost menu, and last time I had the Christmas IPA and the gingerbread or the ginger blonde. Now I'm gonna get the 70 degree winter. And prost, prost. I just love actually sitting in here. It's so fun. I wish that Joyful was playing, but I think it's too late in the afternoon, so they're not coming on stage yet, or for the rest of the night. But it's still a really cool atmosphere, and I think they turned the heat on in here, because I feel a little hot. <laughs> Looks like Carol's coming on stage with some Christmas favorites. definitely came in and lifted the spirits of this place now I can hear that beautiful piano music but now I'm gonna show you guys some of the cool merchandise they have for the festival of the holidays probably the most popular one this year is the cookie stroll cookie jar I think it's really nifty and neat but also this little plate right here look at this I like it 
The ornaments are really pretty as well, but also this light up figurine. Look at that. Looks like they're having a good time. Look at the Mickey snowman. Now we actually left the World Show Place and we're going to head to the United Kingdom Pavilion and go into the Queen's Table because they have some new merchandise there and a little special holiday drink. And now I think we're going to get ourselves a hot toddy or a Twinnings iced Christmas toddy, but we're going to go hot. And uh, they actually use the Christmas tea with a little drum brewer. I'm drum not brew. sure. Drum brew. Drum brew. Yeah. Drum brew. Drum brew. I'm so grateful for you. <laughs> it's got aged Scott whiskey in it. And take a look at him. What a master. In the UK, Eric actually found this little fanny pack. And I think you're bringing back fanny packs. It's already been rotten. Yeah. And that was really cool because it's Disney. It is. Look at Mickey. And he's on a bus. And he's on a bus. Might as well take our little toddies out here. It's so quiet. And I feel like, I feel like we are... In the United Kingdom, don't you? I do, especially now with the oh yes, bag and everything. yes, and the hot toddy. And the hot toddy. <laughs> and I like hearing the Christmas music over here. This is a really good spot to have a little hot toddy. Hmm. Pinky up. As we were sitting there drinking our hot toddies, Mary came out. Hi, Mary. I love your uh, I love your place right here. It's very perfect for the holidays. Some tea? We're having some uh, hot toddy. Oh, very good. Well, thank you and happy holidays. How awesome is that? We got to catch somebody going in the Christmas gazebo. I think that's what I'm gonna call it anymore, just the Christmas gazebo. The characters will go in there at nighttime or if it's rainy, Alice will go in there, but to see Mary Poppins, that made my day. And I guess we're gonna move along and I think I'm actually gonna get uh, something I got when I first came the first day at the uh, Lahayan stand. I love the beer they have there. It's a Hanukkah beer. So we're gonna go that way actually. I know I said I was going to try to get things that I didn't have before, but I just absolutely love this Hanukkah beer, a jelly donut pastry ale. So I got to get it and then I maybe get the potato latkes and just give those a try. I am so excited for this beer. I think last time I said I should have got a bigger beer, so I actually got the full 12 ounce this time. It is so good. Do you like it? It's really good. Wait, do you taste the jelly at the end? It's, it's even a little more delayed than you would think. Yes! It really is though, it's amazing. Oh. I'm not sure if you guys can see it, but look at that beautiful moon up there. And I'm also appreciating the low crowds here. This is really awesome. This is still Thanksgiving week, I would consider. And this is pretty amazing. <laughs> now we've made it over to the American Pavilion and checking out the second Christmas tree here and I think I've stated this before it has my favorite ornament if you can see right there there's like a flicker of fire it's like a fireplace ornament so beautiful though absolutely love this tree look at that little rabbit right there hey guy how are you you are so nice and wonderful tis the season you're a baby rabbit aren't you happy holidays all right we'll let you go and with that, I think I'm gonna call it a night. What an amazing day. I'm glad I got to show you guys all of the boardwalk and then show you some of my favorite festival of the holiday things. And even though those are things that I've never had before, they are definitely my favorite now. Like, I absolutely love the jelly donut beer at Lahaim. So, anywho's, I hope you enjoyed the video. I enjoyed making it. Thank you so much to Disney on the Reg. Uh, on Instagram. They're the ones that gave me the points to stay here at the boardwalk. So I am just so forever humbled that I'm able to share these experiences with you. I'm just so happy about it. Anywho's, we'll talk to you later. Good night. Happy holidays. Bye.